Um. Mind if we talk? Not at all. Yeah. Um. Do you recognize the acronym BH? It's on Dad's lighter. Yes, dear. It means the black hats. They're those ruffians on motorcycles whom your father associated with. Okay. Oh, his biker gang. That makes sense. What can you tell me about the black hats? I refuse to talk about those hoodlums. They turned your father into a horrible person. You should stay far away from them, Kathy. They're awful people, just awful. Alles klar, Black Bye, Grandma. Hats. I'll be back later. Biker so long. Biker Gang würde ich halt tatsächlich noch mal zum, äh, zur Polizei gehen, zum Sheriff oder zu Lenny. Weil ich behaupte mal, wenn das eine halbwegs bekannte Biker Gang ist, wird die garantiert der Polizei schon mal irgendwie ähm, aufgefallen sein. Vor allem, wenn Oma ja schon sagt, dass das schlechte Menschen sind, beziehungsweise, ähm, ja, dass sie doch ziemlich äh, böse sind, würde ich sagen. Fahren wir da mal hin. So, ich frag erstmal Lenny, vielleicht weiß der ja was. Hey Lenny. Hello Kathy. Ähm um, hier die Black Hats. What can you tell me about the Black Hats? They've caused us trouble from time to time, but they've been kind of quiet lately. Okay. We put a few of their captains in the slammer over the years, but we never managed to find enough dirt on their leader. Bo Brunson. Big Bo. Do you know where I can find them? Yeah, hold on. Let me just find a map. Got it. Thanks. Alles klar. Well, gotta go. See ya. Frag mal den Sheriff auch noch vielleicht, ähm, hat der ja was über die Black Hats, was wir noch wissen sollten? Hello, Sheriff. Mind... Ja? What can you tell me about the Black Hats? Why, you care to join? I'm sure they'd be real impressed by your big bike, but that's a man's club. Let's just say I have a healthy curiosity. Okay. I'd say your curiosity borders on mental <laughs> illness. You have a death wish? Bikers don't mess around with little girls. You gonna help me or not, Sheriff? Not really. Go bother Lenny with it. Good. Haben wir ja Gott sei Dank schon gemacht. Dann fahren wir da doch einfach mal hin, würde ich sagen. So, Ausgang. Und dann schauen wir doch mal, was diese äh, Biker da jetzt... Ähm, kriegen wir jetzt noch eine zweite Reihe? Wow. Die sehen einladend aus. Ich hab Angst. Sweet bud incoming! Oh, like hell I am, I'm nobody's property. You sure? Doesn't she look like a sweet butt? Little slut? Oh, I think God. she does. Step off, creep. Or what? You tell your daddy on me? Uh, oder du kannst deine Eier vom Boden abkratzen, du verfluchtes Schwein. Glaubst du wirklich, ich bräuchte meinen Daddy, um dir Schwächeln gegen den Arsch zu treten? Du solltest besser schnell dazu lernen, Arschloch, verpiss dich aber schnell. Äh... Uh, You better learn quickly, asshole. Back the fuck off. Oh, I love it when they play hard to get. Let go of me! Uh, uh, uh. Ach so, uh. Uh, uh. Kombinieren. Wow. Oh, er sieht freundlich aus. Ja, sie freut sich aus. Pres, just having a bit of fun with this gash here. I suggest you leash that dog of yours. For fuck's sake, Prospect, not again. Get the hell out of here. Sorry, boss, I'll go. Fuck, that hurt you, cunt. Wow. Wow. Um. He'll be disciplined for that. He better be. I take it your bow? I am. And who are you, darling? Kathy Rain. Bullshit. She lives in the city with her deranged mother. Who are you, really? Did the Vandals send you? No, they didn't. I am Kathy Rain. Prove it, then. Well, I would, but I left my ID back home. <laughs> That's convenient. I think I've wasted enough time with you. 
I need to figure out some proof. Uh... This proof enough for you? I'll be damned. That's Brian's lighter, all right. Sorry about the paranoia. Nice job. We've had some problems with the vandals lately. I get it. Can't be too careful. So that's your ride out there. Corley Motors, right? 78? 76. You got the same taste as your old man. He always rode Corley's. Probably the only thing he and I have in common. <laughs> Did you set up those mods yourself? Looks custom made for your uh, small frame. Yeah, took some time to get the measurements right. I imagine so. Girls like you don't often ride heavy bikes. I'm not most girls. That's Ain't that the truth. Most girls don't just waltz into places like this either. I guess you'd know. Anyway, I had some questions for you in the club. Go ahead then. Your old man was a good brother, so I'll indulge you for now. <laughs> Alles klar, wir fangen mal vorne an. Do you know anything about what happened to Joseph Rain in 1981? No, we had our differences, me and him, but that's a horrible fate for a man. I'd rather be dead than a vegetable. So I take it you and him didn't get along? No, I could write a book about that man. On one page I'd praise him, on the next I'd want to smash his skull in. <laughs> he could be a real self-righteous prick when he wanted to, that's for sure. But everyone knew he was the real law around here. Truman was a tool. I respected Joseph, and he respected me. But he hated how Brian looked up to me. Joseph always blamed the club for the path Brian chose in life, even though it was just due to him being a shitty father. Okay, um, ihn bitten, das weiter auszuführen. You seriously thought Grandpa was a bad parent? Everybody knew about it. People just tend to forget the bad qualities of men in wheelchairs. Joseph wasn't a saint. He saw everything black and white. He was only kind to whomever he considered to be good by his narrow moral standards. The ones who wouldn't fit in that small mold didn't get any chances. None whatsoever. Hmm. Na gut. Do you know anything about Lily Myers? Nothing that anyone else around here couldn't tell you. Okay, um... Do you know who Jimmy Cochran is? No. Good. Tell me, how long have you been the president of this club? Fifteen years now, give or take. VP for ten before that. Good. Then you can tell me why you stole Lily Meyer's paintings from Charles Wade in 86. I don't know what the hell you're talking about, but I'd recommend you be careful with wild accusations like that. Okay, um... Fine. Is there anything I can do for the club to earn your trust? You mean like cleaning the toilets? Making coffee? I think we got that covered, Cupcake. Hmm. <laughs> Spare me your sexist bullshit. I can take care of business. <laughs> you are nothing like your old man, you know that? I take that as a compliment. You do that. In any case, I've had enough of this nonsense. Stop pushing your luck. Okay, um... What can you tell me about the Church of the Holy Trinity? Do I look like a pious man to you? I've peed on churches. Das, uh, das, das glaube ich wohl. Um, this may be a weird question, but have you ever met a bald man dressed in red? I've made a few bald men red. That count? Hmm, dann uh, fragen wir mal als nächstes noch mal über seinen Club. What can you tell me about the Black Hats? Black Hats MC was founded in the 60s by my old man, my uncle, and two other local bikers. Conwell Springs is the mother chapter, and we have support clubs in six other locations across three states. There's a total of 16 members here, 12 patch, four prospects. I'm the acting president of this chapter, as well as of the whole club. I've been for more than 15 years. The law give you any trouble? It used to be tough when your granddad was around. He and Truman ran a tight ship. And now? Now they try, but Boyks and the boy are a nuisance at best. Okay, uh, vielleicht sollten wir ihm auch noch irgendwas hiervon zeigen. Um, fangen wir mit dem Bild an. Do you know what this is? Whoa. What? Do you recognize that? I saw one of those with my own eyes a few years ago. Really? Where? Middle of the woods, the road to the city. Those things came from nowhere and gave me this crazy headache right on the plate in my head. Okay. At the time, I thought it was just a nasty case of migraine. 
You have a plate in your head? Yeah, titanium from a shrapnel wound I got in Nam. I see. Titanium isn't the least bit magnetic, is it? How the hell should I know? I'm no scientist. <laughs> Do you remember where exactly on the road it happened? No. Like I said, I dismissed it as a migraine. Didn't pay too much attention as to where I was. Fair enough. Hmm. Do you know anything about this flower, Bo? Do I look like a florist to you? <laughs> yeah. A little bit? <laughs> Crack me up, girl. <laughs> Gut, das brauchen wir ihm vermutlich nicht sein. I don't need to show him that. Okay. Aber dann haben wir ihm alles. I don't need to show him that. Hm. Gut, dann braucht er den Rest, glaube ich, auch nicht, ne? All right, I'm gonna hit the road. Right on. I have some business to take care of, but make yourself at home. Gut. Thanks, Bo. See you around. Hey, Brian's girl. Yeah? I overheard you. I'm Emmett. Hey. Hi. The boss man isn't usually that grumpy. He's got a lot on his mind. But I think I may know of a way to loosen him up. Okay. I'm all ears, buddy. Well, Bo and Brian are the double Bs, as we used to call them. <laughs> They used to have this drink together. Brian came up with it. He called it a bloodier Mary. Hmm, sounds like my kind of drink. Yeah, it's basically a Bloody Mary, but with pig blood instead yeah. of tomato juice. I take that back. Gross. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's just a Bloody Mary, but with a special ingredient added to it. If you say that special ingredient is blood, I will literally punch you. <laughs> <laughs> no. Brian refused to tell anyone what it was. He only made it for special occasions. It's probably something uncommon, like a rare herb or some kind of expensive spice. So let me guess, if I can produce this drink for Bo, you think he would help me out? It'll make him remember Brian, which should go a long way. He hasn't had that drink since your old man disappeared. Brian was like a son to him. The boss would have died for him back in the day. If you could recall the good times with your father, he might change his mind. I guess it could be worth a try. Wait, why are you helping me? You're Brian's kid. That means you're family. We take care of family. No. Well, how was that drink compared with a regular Bloody Mary? Tasted a bit more like pepper and had a punch to it. It usually gave some pretty nasty hangovers. Oh, if you had a lot of them, you'd hallucinate some crazy shit. Pretty uh -huh. wild. Trippy. Thanks. You're welcome, darling. Gut, damit hätten wir, glaube ich, auch gerade schon unsere Secret-Zutat äh, rausgefunden. Mit denen könnte ich jetzt auch noch reden, aber... Mm, ich brauche, glaube ich, ein Blümchen. So, da ist die Blume. Ähm, es ist echt verboten, die zu pflücken, ne? Sehr gut. Sorry, endangered flower, but I, uh, I really need to make a drink. <lacht> oh, ich hör ihn. No. Hier okay, kommt jetzt kein creepy dude oder so um die Ecke, der uns sagt böse, böse. Okay. Dann äh, fahren wir mal wieder zu den Blackheads. Na, guck mal, da ist er ja. Blume kombinieren mit äh I don't see how those things oh, Geh doch weg, ich will dir doch nur den Barkeeper geben, Mann. Äh, Blume kombinieren mit I'd like a Bloody Mary. Come right up. Oh, and add this, will you? Just something I like for flavor. Put it in a blender. Whatever you say. Okay. One Bloody Mary. Enjoy. Thanks, buddy. Oh. The club will cover that, Jose. Sure thing, VP. Thanks again, Emmett. You got it. Alles klar, dann, uh... Um... Here's hoping it can make Bo a bit more cooperative. Gut, um... 
Versuchen wir das doch mal. Hey, Bo. I've got something for you. I recognize that smell. You found your dad's recipe. Something like that. Man, is this a trip down memory lane? I keep expecting Brian to walk in here any second. You know, all this nostalgia is making me remember how much I really owe your old man. Yeah? Yeah. So, here's the deal. In 86, Carl, my VP at the time, came to me and said he had a job lined up for the club. Some guy had offered him good dough for stealing a bunch of paintings from a mansion. He needed two brothers for the job. Hmm. I was busy with other things at the time, so I gave my permission as long as the club got the usual cut. He returned a week later with a nice wad of cash. I didn't realize it was Wade he had knocked off until I read the paper. If I had known that, I'd advised against it. Wade is a powerful man with friends in city council. There's no reason to piss him off. Got it. So, what do you know about the guy who hired you for the job? Not much. Carl said it was some bearded preacher. Whoa, Isaac from the Church of the Holy Trinity? Could be. I don't know who that is. It was a priest. I know that much. Thanks, Bo. I'm gonna follow up on this right away. That's it? You're not gonna ask me about what happened to your old man? Not even curious? I couldn't give two shits about that asshole. Bullshit. Don't expect anyone to believe you're that angry with someone you don't give two shits about. <laughs> Either he's dead or he abandoned me. Do any of those options look appealing to you? They don't, but you should know that no one from the club had anything to do with it. I meant it when I said Brian was a good brother. He had no enemies here. Not then, and not now. Comforting to hear, Mr. President. Shut up and listen, girl. I'm trying to tell you something. Brian used to talk about heading to Mexico, about riding off into the sunset and getting away from all his newfound responsibilities. And I think part of him was serious. You deserve to know that there's a chance he's still out there somewhere. Sure. Let's hope that bastard is living it up somewhere. <sighs> Just take care of yourself, you hear? You too. Oh, hat sie gerade Tränen that in day went by fast. I think I'm gonna ask if I can stay the night at Grandma's. Ja, warum nicht, ne? Fragen wir doch mal Oma. Hello, sweetheart. Hey, Grandma, it got kind of late. Would it be okay if I stay the night? Of course, dear. Have a seat. I'll make you something to eat. Oh, you're the best. I'm starving. Typisch Omas, ey. Ah, in dieser Nacht träumte Kathy. Do you see? You are both unwanted, both discarded. Good. Lick the flames, buddy boy. Lick the flames and feel the hatred burn. Okay. Oh oh. Lily's painting, burning, and the kid from the cemetery. It's got to mean something. Ich hab das gesehen, der Typ ist da einfach mal. Looks like the rain finally stopped. Naja, gut, damit beschäftigen wir uns dann aber in der nächsten Folge. Ähm, ich bedanke mich bei euch fürs Zusehen. Das war verdammt gruselig. Außerdem steht da unten, stand da gerade Tag 4 und ich glaube, das Spiel hat nur 5 Tage. Das heißt, es ist bald schon zu Ende und ich möchte das gar nicht. Ähm, jedenfalls danke fürs Zusehen. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Tschüss.